In Naugatuck now, where police are investigating a sexual assault by a man who was impersonating a police officer. The incident happened in broad daylight on Wednesday. News 8's Mark Robbins is on the scene in Naugatuck. We're taught as drivers to pull over when we see flashing lights on the car behind us. That's exactly what a woman here in Naugatuck did Wednesday afternoon. She may have wondered what she had done wrong, but she certainly didn't expect to be pulled over by a man impersonating a police officer. It was a brazen crime committed around noon Wednesday. The suspect wearing a polo type shirt with Naugatuck police embroidered in an arch, ordered the female driver out of her vehicle and then allegedly assaulted her. Residents in the area are confused and scared. Because you tell your kids not to be afraid of cops and now there's a guy pretending to be a cop. I don't know. It's scary stuff. If you suspect that it's not a real police car, to not stop, to go to the nearest police station and report it. Earlier today, police set up a checkpoint trying to develop leads from those driving by. They were asking if uh, we had seen any kind of uh, brown car in the neighborhood that kind of shouldn't have been there, parked up the street. And, you know, I, I travel this frequently but I hadn't you know I hadn't seen it. Police have been combing the neighborhood for the last couple of days. The increased activity shows a commitment to catch the suspect and reaffirm the public's trust in law enforcement. I still have trust in the police but obviously somebody's you know trying to pull one over and I just think it's sad. I have two girls teen, you know teenage girls. I want to know if something's bad going in the neighborhood. Authorities say the suspect is maybe 6'1 or 6'2 with an average build. He was said to be wearing a utility belt with flashlight and handcuffs. He tried to look the part by driving a Ford Crown Victoria with lights on top. Naugatuck police say it's not a department vehicle. If I saw a brown car, I know that all of Naugie's cop cars and unmarked cars are blue. I wouldn't have stopped. Both state and Naugatuck police say the description of the suspect does not come close to any of the current officers on the Naugatuck force. On the scene in Naugatuck, I'm Mark Robbins, News 8.